Thanks guys, I love you. <laughs> Happy 420. All right guys, my first Friday shift is about to begin. I actually don't have a second one because I think, I told you this a million times, but I took it off. I swapped shifts with another driver so that I could go to the Yacht Club party tonight. I think I might have even told you that in the last clip you watched, which was last night. Anyway, hopefully today isn't too stressful. I'm kind of dragging right now, so I might need to pop some coffee in a little bit. All you guys that are of legal drinking age, what happens to you when you mix caffeine and alcohol? For me, it's awesome. Cause like alcohol is kind of like a downer sometimes. I guess it's both a little bit, but having the little extra bit of energy is just crazy. So you can go extra nuts. Today's been a pretty solid day so far. I picked up my paycheck, gotten a few good tips, and I think I'm done in two and a half hours, which isn't that bad. Just a few more deliveries, a couple more daily beautification lists, check off things for in shop what the fuck are you doing so the lady i just delivered to came into the lobby where i was waiting for her and i was like okay you know fill out this copy for me and she puts down her credit card and it says world of warcraft on it so after like a couple awkward seconds i'm like do you play and she goes do i play what and i pointed to the card with my pen and she's like oh i used to and at that point the other lady that was waiting with me um started talking to her and it was just really awkward i didn't say anything i was like oh true and then I just left. I thought it was gonna be one of those neat moments where you connect with someone who's played a video game that you used to play or still play, I don't know. I don't play WoW anymore, but I used to. Like this one time I bought a game card, this was like three summers ago or something, and it was sitting in my passenger seat, and I ordered like something from McDonald's, and the cashier looks into my car, and he's like, oh, what do you play? And I'm like, oh, I'm a Rhett Paladin. <laughs> he's like, awesome. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> so that was, that was cool. All right, guys, it is 1.45. I am off of work, which is awesome because that gives me a lot of time to prepare for this evening. I made a lot of awesome tips today, which is great because now I have my car back. Now I'm making good tips again. All is right with the world. I'm sure you guys know this already, but it's 4.20, so happy 4.20! Wow! So it's probably not a good idea for me to be flailing my arms around and closing my eyes while I'm driving, so maybe I'll put a hold on that. All right, guys, it is 7.30. I have to be ready in like a half hour. I have errands to run. I gotta go to the bank, and I'm gonna go get a haircut real quick. I think Supercuts closes in like a half hour, so I should make sure to leave a good tip. You should always tip well, but make sure you tip extra well if it's close to closing time. <laughs> and that's not me just fucking trying to get people to give me better tips. That's legit. Oh my god, it got butchered. <laughs> I feel like it's really uneven in the front too. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with this. I got a party to go to. Fuck! Ah, oh, I should have waited on the haircut. Damn it. Oh, who's this? What the fuck? I gotta go down that road. What is going on? Alright, they're waving us over. Can I get to Fruitville? Alright, guess I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a huge crash over there. Huh. Well, this is one street down. Maybe there's something going on that I don't realize. Unless they're blocking all traffic for that intersection, like even a couple of intersections back. They must be serious if that's the case. Oh, it's probably too dark in here. Sorry about that. Um, look, I'm all dressed up. My hair is so fucking short. I'm headed to the Yacht Club right now so I can meet up with Dot, Jesse, I think Hannah and my sister are also there. So, should be a fun time. <laughs> tightrope. Oh my god, he's sitting on a chair up there.
It's like you didn't have to. Like, I want those lights from my house. I'm gonna park my yard. Right All right, so you're probably not gonna believe me, but right over there, Dominic Monaghan was standing over there when I walked into this room. I walked right by him, and I was like, "I know you. You're that guy that was the Hobbit, and also you were in Lost." <laughs> Thank God I didn't actually say that though. But I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to go get a picture with him. Did you leave? Yeah, I don't think he's in here anymore. He was standing right over there. He's looking pretty sleek. You can tell he's a celebrity too because everyone just crowds around him. It's really funny. I was surprised at how short he was. It's not a slight against him, but he's he's a little guy. It's hard to tell when you when you see someone in a movie or a TV show. You don't know how tall they are. Yeah, that's like so Tom Cruise. There's no way to know. Like Tom Cruise is like five foot three or something like that. Yeah, he's a he's a shorter dude. Yeah. So the camera can make him look tall or short. Now Twenty pounds and ten inches. <laughs> There he is over there. All right, we're at Shamrocks. This is a bit of a candid moment. This is the bathroom. Uh-oh guys, more flashing lights. Wonder what's happening here. Looks like a routine uh, speeding ticket being issued right here. Good job, officer. What? <laughs>